So last time we looked at whether the entropy of reaction gets higher or lower as we go through. We now need to look at actually putting a value on it. So we're going to actually have a number to say whether the entropy is getting higher or lower. And it works in a very similar way when we looked at enthalpy changes in a reaction. So it's dead easy to do. The first thing just to point out, the symbol for entropy is an S. And so changes in entropy are given the symbol delta S. Um, so, and it's called Wait, so just, system. Just so, we call this delta S and then system. So it's delta is the change in the entropy of the system or a reaction. The entropy is just delta S. Delta S, yeah. Entropy changes at delta S. So is that within, like, opposed to Yeah, this is in a reaction that we're going to do. So just in the reaction. So, luckily for us, all substances, so all substances have standard entropy values. Now, these are measured in joules per mole, so moles to the minus one, per kelvin. Remember, kelvin is just a different way of measuring temperature. What do you notice that's odd about that? Joules per mole per kelvin. Kelvin kilojoules. Brilliant. Yeah, we normally measure it in kilojoules. So this is where people mess up big time in the reaction. In entropy, it's in joules per mole per kelvin. And this is, yeah, this is given the symbol. So it's given the symbol S, and then the little spaceship sign there to say it's measured under standard. Yeah, London Underground. Yeah, standard. So what do you reckon these, these values, what we, the way we define it, we see a perfect crystalline solid at zero degrees Kelvin would have an entropy of zero. So that would be a perfect crystal. Um, however, most things have a value set for it. So just to give us some idea, we're, we're looking at some values. So for example, magnesium in the solid state has got a value, remember these are in, um, oh, I'll change that. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, it's got a value of 32.7 joules per mole per kelvin. Uh, magnesium oxide, what do you reckon? Magnesium oxide higher or lower than magnesium? Higher. More disorder, so it's going to be higher. Um, oh, actually, actually, it's lower. <laughs> Let's do magnesium carbonate as a solid. Higher or lower? Higher. Higher, higher yeah. <laughs> 65.7 joules per mole per kelvin. Okay, liquids. What do you reckon? H2O higher. as a liquid. Yeah, liquid's going to be higher, and it is higher. 69.9 joules per mole. Uh, why is this more than that? Because I've got more atoms, so this is just magnesium atoms all aligned together, whereas I've got magnesium, a carbon, and three oxygen atoms, so it's more disordered, yeah. Um, and what about, let's go for ethanol as a liquid. What do we reckon? Higher? Higher. Yeah. 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 We're up, we're well by now, 160.7 joules per mole. And we we'll do some gases. Let's do a couple of gases. Uh, oh, let's just do, well, helium gas. Remember, it's a gas, but remember, it's only one atom. So it's not going to be super high. It's actually 126.0 joules per mole per kelvin. And the final one we'll do is O2 as a gas. 
you don't need to learn it, is 205 point zero joules per mole. So that gives you some values, but you'll always be given these in the uh, Okay, so we're going to do an example to just show you how easy it is to calculate the entropy change of a system. So I have put the standard entropy values of my three substances here. That's the one I'm going to try and find out. Now, the way you do it is you need, so delta S system is equal to the sum, which is given this crazy symbol there, the entropy values of your products, minus the sum of the entropy values of your reactors. Now, that probably looks more complicated than it needs to. Um, so, how do we do this? Well, it is easy, easy, easy. So, delta S system for this one is going to equal the sum of the entropy values of the products. That is going to be 26.9 plus 213.6. Put that in brackets. Those are my products. Minus my one reactant, which is 65.7, and if we do that, hopefully we get 174.8. Now, key things, units, joules per mole per kelvin. But also for entropy, put the sign positive. Always put the sign for entropy. So entropy is always positive? No, it's sometimes negative, but whatever it is, always put positive or negative. So although it's positive, it's easy. Always put the sign they like that. Would you get a mark for it? Well, they made up for it. It's, it is value. Um, they were really, they used to get really hung up about it with um, uh, Edexcel, but OCR was getting increasingly uh, back in there. Maybe they so, should just sort out their marks. Plus 174.8 joules per mole. Is that what we'd expect it to be? Is it a positive value? Yes. Yes, it yeah, is. Because, value. yes, solid fantastic. One particle becoming two particles, one of which is a gas. So it's exactly what we'd expect it to be.